Hi guys. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. How are you guys um today? Um I go I hope you guys are waking up with smiles on your face and energy on doing your work cuz you know it's um Wednesday May May 20, 2020. We're almost there to the weekend. Um Yeah. I hope you guys are loving our our videos and our activities that we're doing for you guys. I hope you guys are go are watch are going and watching um, my co-workers, which is Miss Christina, Miss Ariana, Miss Alyssa, Mr. Julio, and Mr. Kevin's video. Um, I know each of us are doing something different and um, still, you know, working really hard for you guys to be entertained and to be, um, I don't know what's the word. Um, not bored of everyone <laughs> like I'm doing right now, but, um, uh, parents, I applaud you for, you know, keeping your kids steady and less insane than they all are. It's hard. I know sometimes it's like a little bit crazy that you guys want to go out and just do stuff, but it, you know, it's okay to take walks, but make sure that you're, you know, you're covered with your with your mask and your gloves too. And um, when you're coming back, make sure that, you know, you throw away your gloves and you throw away your mask and you wash your hands, you know, or soap and water for 20 seconds and make sure that um, you put hand sanitizers after that to, you know, keep the freshness out of the virus, out of your, your system and of course out of your house. Um, enough about the coronavirus because that's what we all hear through the news and I know it's kind of scary, but, you know, we'll get through this together. As long as we're all together and listening to what the doctors are telling us to do, which is stay inside, making sure that everything is clean, and, you know, we're not trying to uh, contaminate anybody by spreading the room, um, the virus, sorry. We should be okay. Um. Anyways, last video I told you guys, um uh, the letter of the day and we did an activity i hope you guys remember the letter of the day which was the letter r right and the five words that i ta taught you guys was ribbon rabbit raccoon the color red and rainbow which we made a rainbow that was the activity activity that we did um last week now you know how i always start with the letter of the day and this this video, I will tell you the letter of the day, which is B, which is for um bubblegum, balloon, baseball, blue, and bumblebee. Yeah, that's the activity that we're going to do, which is bumblebee. Don't worry about it. We're not going to use these colors because I know that my boys, you know, don't like the color of pink, but it's cool. We can use different colors. But we are going to make Bumblebee. And I want you guys to feel free to express how you guys are doing this these activities. So, before we get started, the supplies that we need is a yellow construction paper, a black construction paper, a heart shape. We need glue. We need an eraser, just in case we mess up. We need a pencil. And we need... Scissors make sure that if you have scissors you have somebody here with you Supervising and making sure that you know how you're cutting the shape of the activity or just cutting it in general You know you're doing okay so You know how bubble bees have two color which is black and yellow Black and yellow, so this is what we're gonna do. I folded my paper in four so when you grab the paper you see how you have it like this? You're going to fold it first like this in half. And then you're going to fold it again. So now it looks like it has four squares. Which I'm pretty sure it does. I'm extending it out. And see? Four squares. Now, you're going to grab your heart shape. Um, your heart shape. And you're going to put it on the in the middle of the paper. And then you're gonna trace it with your pencil. If you messed up, it's okay. Make sure you have an eraser um, on you and we're gonna start tracing. 
Remember how I told you guys a joke last week? That joke was lame. Do you guys have any jokes that are funny? Because I don't have any more jokes. Um, what have you guys been watching? Ta-da! I just traced it. Now, we're going to cut it. Make sure that, you know, you grab the scissors carefully and you start cutting from um, at the edge of the paper and you're going to go around. What have you guys been um, watching? I just finished watching um, Tango and Frozen last night because I'm doing a Disney marathon movie. So I think on Monday I started watching Snow White and then Sleeping Beauty. Um, I know after Snow White it was supposed to be Cinderella, but because Cinderella is my favorite princess, I leave that to the um to the very last because Cinderella has three movies that's made. I don't know if you guys watched it. I love I love all three Cinderella movies, so that's why I'm keeping um the Cinderella last. I think right now today I have to watch Moana, and then the last um Frozen Frozen two. Because, you know, they made a, a sequin. So, after um, I watch Moana and Frozen 2, I'm going to do uh, Cinderella, the original one. I want to know for girls, like for my little ones, what's your favorite princess? And for the guys, do you guys have favorite TV shows like Ed, Ed and Eddie or Ben 10 or um, what's the other one? Uh, Recess or The Amazing World of Gumball, uh, Avatar, um, The Last Airbender, I think it is, or and um, Tom and Jerry is old, Regrets is old, that was my shows, but um, yeah, or any movies have you guys been watching? Have you guys been watching like the new movie of Trolls? War Tour, I like that one. That was really good. Or, um, any guys fan of Star Wars? The Last Jedi, I saw that one. It was pretty cool. Um, or just any, any videos, any videos that make you laugh. Do you guys watch, um, anything? Let me know what you guys do. Watch. And also, are you guys reading books? Because you're supposed to be reading books too. Books are really cool. I haven't been reading books lately, but the last book I read was, um, what's it called? A movie called Twilight. I love that book. It was really good. I don't think you guys know that. It's about a vampire, and the girl falls in love with, like, the vampire, and she's, of course, you know, human, immortal, and, um, she, um... She's the only one knows, not her dad or her family, but still. Um, let's see, another. Have you guys been, like, listening to different music? What kind of music do you listen to? I was listening to last night. What was I listening to last night? Um, I was listening to, um, uh, well, my, my head is blank right now. I wish... Um, I was watching Selena Gomez's new video. It's called She. I don't know if you guys listen to her. I like her music. She's pretty alright while well, she sings. Have you guys been watching any documentary? Like any cool documentary? Um, I love to watch documentaries. I love to learn about people's life and how they've got to be how, you know, they are where they at stuff like that that interests me uh, what's your favorite animal my favorite animal is the dolphin I don't know why but I just like the the dolphin it's just it looks so sweet and tender that it's like oh my god it's cute but yeah does anybody know how to spell the word dolphin? I'll give you a clue. The letter starts with the letter D, 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 D. 
It's D O P no wait D O L P H I N. So, all right. So now that we cut up the little hearts, we're gonna do the same thing with the black paper. We're gonna trace it. We're gonna trace it nice and neat. See, we're gonna put it in the middle still. And we're gonna grab your paper. You no, you're gonna grab your pencil. And you're gonna start tracing. Um, what kind of snacks have you guys been eating? I've been eating a lot of blueberries because I just like blueberries for some reason now. I used to not like them, but now that I'm now I'm a fan on them. I also like blackberries. Have you guys tried blackberries? Blackberries are the best. Oh my god. They're the best. See? After you trace the black heart, can you see? It's too dark. We're going to cut it up. We're going to cut it up. And we're going to cut it out the same way that we cut out the yellow paper at the edge of the paper as you can see me cutting please be careful with your fingers if you don't know how to cut make sure that you have somebody there like your mom your dad your brother your sister helping you cut out the um, the shape of the heart um do you think bumblebees make noises when like when they're flying you think that they're like They make noises, and if they do, what kind of noise they make? Because from my understanding, I think it's buzz, 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 buzz. Has anybody seen like a bumblebee lately? Because I know the weather's getting nice, so that means the flowers are coming out. And do you guys know what like bumblebees do? I can tell you what bumblebees do. They they go to the nectar of the flower, and they take. The nectar out I think and they give them like all the honey that they need and then they take it with them and that's all I guess the bumblebees and also bumblebees that's where we get our honey from bumblebees bumblebees make honey so they they go to this um they have like a beehive where they all go and yes for some reason bumblebees have a bumblebee queen it's funny and they all have their like where they're supposed to where they're supposed to go, what they're supposed to do. And you know, bumblebees are being extinct. The word extinct means that they're that they're no longer are going to be alive. So we need to stop killing them because um we need them. We need them. If it wasn't for the bumblebees, we wouldn't be having any honey at all. And that's where us, the humans, sometimes don't understand that animals have a purpose here, too. Just like we have a purpose. But, yeah. Every animal that you see out there that you might think it's ill, they have a purpose. But, it's another lesson for me to um, tell you guys. If you could be any animal in the world, what animal would you guys be? I will be a, uh, let's see, this is my favorite animal is a dolphin. I'll be a dolphin, but then again, I don't know how to swim. I'm going to be really tired of swimming. And on top of that, I need some air. Like, like my blowhorn would be like so much water and I'll be like splashing everywhere because I'd be like, wow. But yeah. I would love to be a dolphin because they can go to like deep sea, to the deep sea water, and then they could like, they can just, um, swim, swim around, swim around. Now that we cut out the heart, make sure that you know there's no, um, and if there's like little ends that needs to be cut out, correctly or just fix them a little bit by little, it's cool. Because we're about to um, throw away our trash. 
in the trash can and make sure that once we're done with everything, we, we start cleaning up and we put everything how it's supposed to be, right? Correctly. Anyways, now that I corrected my bumblebee, I have two. I have, now we're going to graph two. One, two, we need four. See? And then one more for the body. So it's going to be the face, the body, the stomach, and the body. Bzz. Now, we're going to get our glue. This is falling. We're going to get our glue. And we're going to glue it. Okay? If you have little these little sticks, it's cool, you know? That means you're not putting a lot of glue. But you're you're maintaining the amount of how much you need for the for the paper to be glued. I think this should be good. Now we're gonna put now we're gonna you know glue the yellow paper. I'm gonna put this over here. Oh man, please don't fall. And now we're gonna put it together. Ta-da! Isn't it cute? If you want, you can put my glue. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the black. See? We're gonna glue it on top of the yellow one. And we're gonna make sure that it's we have enough glue. Ta-da! Now we're gonna glue it together. Ta-da! It's cute, right? We're getting there. I'll put a little bit of glue. And then we're gonna glue this the last one. See, we're almost done. We're gonna glue it, glue it, glue it, glue it, glue it, glue it, glue it. Do you guys know how to whistle? I'm bad at whistling. But I love to whistle. Anyways. Ta-da! We just made the body of a bumblebee. Now we gotta make the wings. You know, they have wings so they can fly. I'm gonna choose a color. What color should I choose? Uh, which one? Red, green, or orange? Uh, let's do orange. It's not gonna be enough. All right, let's do red. Oh man, it's falling. It's cool. Same thing. Now for the now for the wings, we're gonna use a smaller, a smaller heart. I have it hidden. This one. And I'm gonna glue it right here. I mean, I'm gonna trace it right here, and it's gonna come out to be two, two wings. So, does anybody know how to spell the word um, bumblebee? I'll, I'll help you out. B U B B L E Bumble, and then we're gonna spell the word B B E E. Now let's spell the word. Um, balloon, B, A, L, L, O, O, N, no, it's O, N, sorry. Also, let's start, let's spell out, um, baseball, B, A, S, E B A L L baseball and then um the color blue which is B L U E blue then we're gonna spell out um the word what was the word bubble bubble gum B 
U B B L E Bumble Bubble and then we're gonna spell gum G U M Who loves gum? I love gum. I really love gum. Do I go? So I just um help you spell out the five words that starts with the letter B, which is for bubble gum, baseball, excuse me, the bl balloon, the color blue, and the activity that we're doing, which is bumblebee. Yeah. Cool, right? You guys are so smart. Okay, now that we cut out the two hearts, which is, you know, the wings, we're going to um, glue them on each side. I don't know if you can see, but one here and one here. Yeah, it's cute. We're going to grab our glue. We're going to try to put a little bit of glue on our bumblebee like this, if you can see, and we're going to glue it onto this. Ta-da! You see that? Isn't that cool? We're gonna do the same thing on the left, on the right side. We did it on the left side. We're gonna do it on the right side now. There we go. There we go. Oh my goodness. We're doing the same thing. Cool. Look now. You know how bumblebees have antennas, right? So we're gonna use. The black antennas. Where's my black paper? My black paper is here. So the leftovers, we can use these two. These two. Oh my god. See? These two pieces. And then we're gonna we just cut I just cut them. See? We're gonna glue them on top of a head. One here and one here. Like that, okay? We're gonna glue. We're gonna glue a little bit. Let's see, let me show you. One here. Ta da! Now we're gonna get the other one. I'm gonna grab the glue and the little antenna. And we're gonna glue it. Oh my god, my finger. I think I put too much glue. Ta da! And then, now, lastly, we're going to use the smallest heart that you guys have. And we're going to trace it in white paper. We're going to trace it. Trace it. Trace it. Trace it. Trace it. Where is my white paper? White paper. I'm gonna trace it. I thought I had a smaller, smaller, um, heart. I'm gonna use this one. I never wanna trace the last heart. The last heart. Or maybe here. See? I thought I had another small one, like the smallest one, but it's cool. This will do. Ready? We're going to start tracing the heart. Like that. And then we're going to cut it. We're going to cut it. We're going to cut at the, the edge of the heart. See? I really hope that you guys are enjoying these videos because, um... We're, re we're really working really hard for you guys to do something different. And also, so you guys can, like, learn new things, new activities, new, um, um, 
a, um, what's the word? I just say new things. Just do something different for once, you know. Come out of your comfort zone. Come out of, you know, your little shell. When I mean come out of your shell, like, be a little bit more spontaneous. Do things that you never thought that you would do. Like, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, try to do things that you haven't done before. Because this world is mysteriously great. The more we do things differently, the more they're like, they're going to be a fun of you. Okay, now I cut them out. And now we're going to glue them on top of the antenna. Like right here. One, two, yay. Okay. I chose hearts because it's easy for me to do. Or easy for me to like um, trace. I know that my my guy my guys don't like it. You guys can use circles, triangles, something different, you know, something different for you. But I chose hearts because I like them. Ta-da! We just made a bumblebee. Now, I usually use I use two colors. Two crayons. I use a pink crayon and a blue and a black crayon to make the heart smile. Um, the heart's eyes and the heart's um and the smiles too. That's blue. Where's my black marker? I don't have it. Oh wait, I do. See, black. I mean, pink and black. I'm gonna. Do the hearts. Here's one heart. Here's another heart for the eye. And then we're going to do the smiley face. Ta da! And then we're going to do a little pink edges for the smile. And if you want, you can color the eyes inside pink. And we're done. Yeah. Isn't it cute? I thought it's pretty cool. I think we just did like the best bumblebee in our lifetime. If not, it's cool. You know, you don't have to think so. So I just gave you. I just taught you how to make a bubble bee. And on top of that, I gave you five words that starts with the letter B, which is bubble gum, baseball, the color blue, um, balloon, and bubble bee. And I helped you spell out these five words. Anyways, before I end this video, I hope you guys are liking it. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos that we're doing, these different activities, you know, each day, go make sure to watch Miss Christina, Miss Ariana, Miss Alyssa, Mr. Julio, and Mr. Kevin's video, because, you know, and myself, of course, um, because we really care for you guys and really want you guys to be um, as busy as possible while this quarantine is happening. You know, there's a lot of things that we could do inside a house than, you know, outside. Um, parents... I applaud you for like keeping the house steady and in calm and like in control because it's hard, especially if you have little ones or just in general. Um, um, hugs and kisses to my children. I hope I'll see you soon. And uh, yeah, bye guys.